Welcome to the episode of Pick and Pop, where we talk about the intriguing topics in sports and pop culture. It's your boy MJ, and today we got Jules in the house. Yes, excited to be back. And we got Haley in the house. Glad to be here. Woo! <laughs> Lego. Now in LA, we see a lot of car chases, but I've never seen a car chase like this one at the Kansas City Chiefs Victory Parade. God. No way. <gasps> oh, oh no way. Oh, that's some skill. Look at all those guns being pulled. Oh my God. Oh my God. Well, of course. Oh, that thing is smoking. Oh. This is great entertainment. Uh, <laughs> this is great. Great entertainment. entertainment. Who are these? They, they, I mean, they, they, they like rented a hotel right across from the parade. What a day. Look at the helicopter. They have a police helicopter up there. You can tell nothing that exciting happens. Right. In and, that and, area. And, 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 and Kansas City. They're like, whoa. <laughs> Whereas like in LA, it's like, oh, high speed chance. Like, yeah, there you go. Yeah, Ooh, oh, there's another helicopter. Right. <laughs> this is someone recording off their TV. Oh, dang. He is persistent oh my goodness. Um, i just want to know like what could be the reason that you would do something like this for um probably just for attention yeah. really it's like those topless yeah. girls that run on the soccer yeah. fields you know do you know some of them no <laughs> she, was like, she made it sound like hella she was all like oh yeah you know i got some homies i got some friends Ooh, look at him running those cops are kind of running a little slow there. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's chilly. It's chilly they out there. They got like 10 layers on. Is that what it is? Are those, boyfriend, what are those it? layers? And the good news is no injuries were sustained. Subscribe, Subscribe to, to Matthew, Matthew Jordan, Jordan Presents. Presents. Now, for those of us who watch Forrest Gump, he could do some amazing things with a ping pong ball. But check out these videos that are going viral on TikTok with this ping pong challenge. That reminded us of like the viral TikTok trend. Uh, just a trash bag. Ah, he hit it. <laughs> a bike. Yo, <laughs> he put a that, the, the bike is talent. That's talent. It, it, yeah. it, it just goes yeah. through like the holes in the bike. That's yep. amazing. <laughs> yeah. Look at that. Yes. yes, that was the best These one. Are people's that was heads. One. <laughs> I wonder how many tries this took. Oh, I like. I, 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 like, I like that one, one. too. Where, where, he, where he act like you missed it. it was the ball was in his mouth? Oh. You, you, you yeah. missed that one. You missed that one. Oh, oh. Ah. out the cooler. How do you fit in that cooler? And check out this goat from India that's blowing up all over the internet because of its face. Oh my oh, God, oh my what God. is that? Ah. Is that Chewbacca? What's happening? <laughs> Yo. Oh my. You didn't oh. even have to start the video. <laughs> Well, it looks like he has like a, a hair piece on. <laughs> Look at that tongue. That thing is stretching. Oh, oh. It's poor eyes. It's poor eyes. It's poor eyes. They look like they're upside down. So apparently in Michigan, when a woman says don't use tongue when making out, don't use tongue or she's going to bite your tongue off. A Michigan man had to find this out the hard way. Check it out. Good evening to you. Oh. <laughs> Hold on. Look at that. Look at that. <laughs> wow. Y'all got jokes? Y'all got jokes in Michigan, huh? Girl. Bitter bite. <laughs> Bitter bite. Well, Dave and Carolyn, the victim, Arthur, said they met through friends only a few months ago. Oh! Oh! oh. oh. Let me get a time out. I know you did not think this woman's voice was going to no, sound like that. No, not at she all. She said, let me put some bass in my voice. Like, Dave, Carolyn, uh... Let me tell you, it's been a crazy morning. <laughs> I was like, yo. Yes. And I'm not even trying to throw shade. It just caught me off guard. Yeah, me too. That's I was all. not expecting that. He only wants to use his first name. And what he did not know is that in 1997, this woman actually pled guilty to intent to do great bodily harm on someone. But then she absconded from probation for 15 years. Why does this story sound so familiar? <laughs> hey, this, hey, this is why you got to know who you're dealing with. God. Fellas, when you out there in these streets, you gotta know what type of females you're dealing with, okay? They had to put a needle in my tongue to freeze it and stitch it up, as you can see. Hard to imagine the pain this 68-year-old centerline man was feeling. Oh my God! Bruh. No. Oh, my, my man is fearless. He said, <sighs> you can bite my tongue, but you can't break my spirit. I'm going to still show my he's tongue. Gonna, he's going to show it off. Ooh, please. He's gonna, oh, my gosh. Off, please. Like, what did he do? I'm still waiting for the story nah, because he's nah. acting like he's the victim. And there's probably some reason why she bit, a, bit off his tongue. The most painful thing I've ever been through in my life. Arthur says he went in for a kiss. And the next thing he knew, he was in agony. And about an inch of his tongue was gone. Ooh, hold on. Hold on, brother. That why you get all getting all freaky with it? Ew, there are, are, can you brush it? That's like, that there like are, years. That is like years of food on your tongue. That's 
why she asked you not to put your tongue in her mouth because it looks like that. Oh my, I would ask the same thing. Do not put that white tongue in my mouth. <laughs> It looked like someone just put some cake batter all on his tongue and just said, hey. <laughs> I'm going to throw it up. <laughs> brother, brother, you can't be walking around here with your tongue looking like a jelly donut. <laughs> <laughs> with some, some powder, you know, some powder sugar on top. You know that powder, those powder donuts, those donuts? Donut. Got your tongue looking like a donut, a powder donut. <laughs> brother, we got to do better. It's like some cheesecake. <laughs> oh. And here's a 911 call from Arthur. Bleeding? My tongue? Your tongue, what happened? Did you bite it? Yeah, uh, girl bit it. She bit it. It's a girl woman bit my tongue. <laughs> my my tongue. tongue. She was worried about how she getting home. Not worried about I'm standing up there bleeding to death. You probably wanted to go down with me since you did it. Oh, she's still there. <laughs> <laughs> Since you did it. <laughs> and Yulette Wedgworth is charged with misdemeanor aggravated assault. She remains locked up on a $25,000 bond. And they still going to be together after this. <laughs> like, yo, yo, she about to be on an episode of Snapped. Yeah. On Oxygen. <laughs> like Lorena Bobbitt. Yeah, this is this is the tongue version of Lorena Bobbitt. Yeah. So, uh, Arthur, hope you get better soon. And now it's time for the viral victory of the week. The viral victory of the week goes to the owner of a Bronx bodega who's trying to bring education back. One Bronx man is testing his customers' math skills and rewarding them with free items. You get this question right, you have five seconds to pick up whatever you want. You're put on the spot. 10 times 10 minus 50. 50. Wow. Wow. No. Wait. Oh, man, this was quick. Dang. <laughs> Grandpa wisdom was quick. He didn't even think about it. Like, I, you know, know. I, I have to be like, okay, 10 times 10 is 100 yeah. minus 50. Cool. Did you call him Grandpa Wisdom? Grandpa Wisdom at the Bronx <laughs> Bodega. BX. Shout out to the BX. Yes. And if you're correct, five. The clock starts ticking. Four. Now my cat. <laughs> Yo. Yo, so bro. Like, oh, we got rules to this, bro. Now my cat. <laughs> you really were going to take the cat. You were going to take a live cat wow. with you? What were you going to do with it? His mind was set on that That's cat. That's his friend. <laughs> That's his friend now. You need, you need new friends? Three! Ahmed Alwan does this a few times a day and it's made him viral on TikTok with millions of views. Uh, Look at the whole rack. Wow. That's, that's not a bad idea, though. Yeah, I, I, would, I would do that. That it's rack smart. is portable. Yeah, yeah. yeah. No, two and two quarters. Hookah. Hookah. Uh, hookah. Two and three quarters. One! Take your stuff and leave. Take your stuff and leave. <laughs> Dang. Yo, that's so New York. All right, take your stuff and leave, bro. Okay, you just robbed me worth the seventy dollars uh, accessories. Bye. Salute, salute. With that being said, I had to get in on the fun too. Oh, of course you did. Eight times eight. Sixty-four. Man, that was an they, easy one. They they easiest one ever. Come on, dog. Enough. Five, four, three. Hundred dollars from the drawer. Two. Wow. Dang, she is a professional Dang. robber. <laughs> she know when she did the story, she's like, I'm going to get in on this. I'm going to get some free snacks and I'm going to get some straight cash, homie. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks for watching the episode of Pick and Pop. Make sure to share, like, and subscribe. Follow us on Instagram. Till next time, woo, Lego. See ya. Where's his eyebrows? Uh -huh. <laughs> I ask myself that question every morning. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs>